we go episode two. And what have I got done so far? All right, so I went ahead and I got the dragon. So I spent the three ninety nine uh, to get the dragon for thirty days. Um, so you get thirty gems every day. You get some loot tickets. You get some emblems every day. And then for the daily summon, you get two summons free every day as opposed to just one. But the most important thing is I can upgrade two buildings at the same time. So I got my stronghold. I'm going up to level five on my stronghold now. And I'm just working on all the different buildings that I got. So you got the mines. They got the mine storage or the um, iron. Sorry, got the iron storage. Got the training camp more iron storage and then you get the farms and the food storage so all this needs to be leveled up in accordance to what your stronghold is so the stronghold comes first you want to get that leveled up as fast as you can and right now when it comes to the buildings I mean it's uh, the time frame is so small that to have two builders doesn't really change that much um, in regards to how fast you can get it done. But when you start getting into to, um, the upgrades that take four or five days, a week sometimes, you know, if you have just one building you can do and you gotta spend a week just waiting for that one to level up, then you can't do anything else. So that's when the dragon comes in handy quite a bit. You can tap on it and it breathes fire. So, I'm still trying to get a hang of this. It's been so long since I've I've been at this point in the game <laughs> that I'm uh, actually kind of lost. So, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, you definitely want to get the dragon. That's almost like a must-have. Um, and if you do want to spend some money, then they have the events like this. I mean, you can spend like a dollar ninety-nine, you can get a compass, which is for ascending your heroes so the compass is very important then you get the 200 gems which also come in handy when it comes to ascending heroes like the four stars and the five stars ascension materials you will learn are very difficult to come by and when you get the ones that you use to um, ascend five stars all the way those are very very important and you want to make sure that the hero that you're going to use them on is one that you are, are, are certain that you want to take all the way up. Because boy, they can be very difficult to come by. Alright, so we're just starting out. Um, I would say... Work on getting on an alliance. I believe you have to be um, level 11 before you can join an alliance. So just keep that in mind. When you join an alliance, want to make sure that it's one that um, is on your skill level with people that are active. If you don't have a lot of active people in the alliance, don't waste your time. Because see, we're here. See, so join an alliance to hunt titans. You can't do that right now. But titans, very important resource for high level materials that you'll need to send your heroes. Keep that in mind. Also with the raids, you got these two chests. You got this one, which is um for the monsters that you defeat. So you, you have the chest active. You defeat 100 monsters. You can crack it open. For the heroes, that's in raids. So you want to get 40 heroes defeated in raids, and then you can crack that bad boy open. like this okay I might be able to take them out um, so even if there's a good chance you cannot beat the team just just keep at it just keep raiding you know use all six of your flags to keep raiding and just see what you can do and get used to the um, mechanics of the game Let's see if I can make this smaller. 
There you go. Mm, let's take him out. And you can pick which hero they want to attack just by tapping on them. Uh, Bane, the one on the right, the right wing, he's uh, more of a threat. So I'm trying to take him out as fast as I can. He's probably going to go off though. Not doing too bad, not doing too bad at all. Just gonna go off, okay. So the different heroes, uh, so they have Layla. Um, she's what we call a sniper. She has one person. She does a pretty good amount of damage. Uh, plus, uh, she'll poison the hero that she hits. And then you got heroes like Jill, who just raise the attack of all the heroes on your team. By 30 uh, percent all that becomes very significant and you'll see that I'm not running a rainbow team I got fire holy nature dark and one more holy which means that when I hit somebody with a with the ice gem, it's going to do one point of damage, like this. Tink, the hero missing. Uh, don't let that scare you. Uh, when it comes to stacking certain heroes, uh, that's where I think a lot of the um, like strategy comes into the game. The kind of stack heroes, uh, like to take out the tank or take out certain heroes on the opposing team. Okay, set Jill off. Gonna raise our attack by 30%. And I'm gonna focus on Bane on the right. Damn, almost. I'm at 12. You can also see when you press on a hero and you hold it down, uh, you can see what kind of status, uh, what kind of status effects they have, like how much health they have left, and what their attacks are. I gotta take them out. Uh, that's kind of a waste of a special. I might win, maybe. Nice. All right, not doing too bad, actually. This is very strange to me. I, I just made a video on my other account where I went up to number one spot in the world. <laughs> and I posted that video. And it's a it's weird being here now. Like at the very, very start. Yeah, I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. Well, what are you going to do? Alright, 
Alright, let's keep on pushing. I'm not going to do a rematch. I'm not going to re-roll anything. I'm just going to attack and see what I can do. Laid out, the little guy. No, I'm gonna attack her. Nice. Domdioc Extreme Lot? Huh. Alright, so there it is. Let's go crack this bad boy open, see what we got. Not too great. Alright, so now when it comes to pulling, um, the most efficient way to do pulls is to do what they call the um, the elemental summon. That's where I'm, st I'm gonna stutter real bad for some reason. So for this you get a higher chance of getting a five star but they're only ice heroes. And each one is a different type of hero. So you got the ice, the fire, the nature, so on and so forth. These are the best bet to pull a five star. Which is definitely what you want. Um, so to do a 10 pull is 2600 gems. And I clearly won't got that, and I'm not going to buy that, but we do got 616, so we can do one for 300. So when you do have gems, I would say wait until these pop up, and then do one or two pulls from this, and um, just see what you get. I'm not going to do a seasonal summon, because I really don't care that much about the Halloween heroes. Victor, Valeria, Vlad, I'm just like, yeah. I don't care that much about them. Let's do one pull, see what we got. Gunner, he's a pretty good hero. He's a three star though, he's still pretty good. So we can do one more. And Ulmer, he's a really good hero. He's a really good three star. So we got two of them. Then you come to a hero roster. You click on them. And there's a little... Get this right there. You want to click on that. That locks the hero. So you can't feed it to another hero by accident. Any hero that you want to keep, you want to make sure you do that too. And so when you come to something like this, and you want to level up, you'll see all the heroes that are placed in my favorites. Are ones that I can't use. I just want to place Friar Tuck as well. Now that's going to change as I get more three stars. I'm going to start feeding my two stars to my three stars. All right, so let's go back into that. Let's go to edit team. Um, so let me. So what I would do? So a Omer. So he's slow, so it takes a while for him to get the special off. But he'll deal 95% damage to all enemies, and all enemies all enemies get negative 20% defense for 6 turns. So that's significant. To lower the defense on all the opposing team that much, that's going to take that much more damage. Now with Gunner, what he does... Alright, so all allies share receive damage with each other for 5 turns. That means if one hero gets hit... Other damage that they're getting 
struck with gets spread out amongst all the heroes that are still alive. On top of that, all the allies get plus 42% defense for 5 turns. So that's a really good defensive tool. The issue with that, uh, as well as that he's slow, so it takes a while for him to get his, uh, it takes a while for him to get his mana um, up for a special. But I'm thinking I'm gonna keep Friar Tuck as tank. Um, put Bane on left wing. Alright, put Ulmer there, put Gunner there, and Layla over the right wing. I feel pretty good about that, because nature is weak against fire. So if a person were to stack their heroes to attack your tank, it's going to be fire. Um, fire is weak against ice, which means that when they're trying to hit the tank, um with all the red gems that they can there's a likely uh, and um, it raises the chance of them setting off their two flanks which is how that works alright I think I've got everything Okay, let's see. I got the lighting kind of weird in here. All right, so let's go to province three. You can see with this, got a lot of nature enemies. So it might actually work well in our favor to stack red against them. Out of room for food. Let's go into here. Alright, so training. That's so what I've done. Was up. I upgraded my training camp, and I did research on common and uncommon, uh, common and uncommon heroes. These are the two main ones that you're going to use. You want to make common heroes, and you want to make common and uncommon. The common heroes. I need a sword and five recruits and 1,600 ham. And for common and uncommon, you need a backpack. And five recruits and two thousand ham. Uncommon take uh takes twice as long, I believe. Over twice as long. So it's gonna be thirty minutes per hero that comes out. You wanna keep these going as much as you possibly can.
I do a couple more. Ooh, okay. Dark Legions. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> I don't. I was like, all right, Dark Legions? Oh, okay, those guys. Ah, I know what she's talking about. Elite enemies, okay. Jeez. All right, uh, so looking at that again, so let's go back it up. So you see the elite enemies. Uh, they're all going to be dark. So... It would behoove us to bring at least two holy heroes. That would make it a little bit easier. Because you do more damage that way. So I'm doing a 2-2-1 two, two, hero stack right now. So I got two holies, two ice, and one nature. I can one of the biggest reasons why I started making these videos on this channel. Uh, that I just created plus the other one that I do is when I first started playing the game I, I learned a lot of these um these strats and uh, I try explaining it to some of the people in my alliance and uh, it's just really hard to convey what what I meant and what I was trying to say and so I would direct him to Anchor's channel because that's where I learned a lot of what I know now was from him So I figured I'll just make videos and, uh, you know, people can watch them and I can say certain things and then I can do certain things and hopefully that makes it easier for people to understand what it is that we're talking about. Alright, so all the regular enemies have special attacks. And this one in particular just gives me defense down. I Yes, I know. Why is that telling me that now? Come on, man.
these ones are pretty easy but it gets uh, very difficult later on So I'm on the last wave of the attack right now. So the main goal is to make sure you go into the boss fight with as many of your hero specials up as possible. You want everybody ready to go off. But I'm going to take this guy out because I got a diamond that I can use. A holy diamond. Man, these guys are so easy compared to later on. Man. I'll just finish it off. Then we get to this guy right here. So the outpost. I remember those now. So when you get to the final, uh, I think the final wave is an actual um, 
defense team from another player. Yes, the owner is Quinn. That's an actual player in the game that they've chosen to defend this outpost. So it's it's just like a raid. All right, this should not be too difficult, I don't think. Make that diamond. Yeah, no problem. Frost Owls to hunt the vermin. I don't think we ever see what a Frost Owl looks like. And that is pretty much all I got right now. And that's how you start it out. I mean, that's you just got to keep on plugging away at it. So I'm upgrading the stronghold now. And you also want to make sure to upgrade the watchtowers you go to. That is um, one of your your. One of the biggest providers for food and iron production plus storage. Speaking of which, I'm also do it now. That's that when it comes to leveling. You want to get as many three stars as you can. Uh, of course, preferably four stars and five stars. And as you level them up, you want to use one stars and two stars to feed them. As people talk about feeder heroes, that's what they're talking about. One, uh, one star and two stars, or when they got like a bunch of duplicates of three stars or four stars, those also can be feeder heroes. Although typically they're not. I prefer not to do it, but I feed four stars every now and again as well. Alright. Well, I hope this one was better overall. I changed the uh, uh, the app that I was using in the first video. I was not a fan of that software, so I got rid of that. I got a different one that worked out pretty well, I think. Alright. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Take care.